Good morning, everybody. Today on First Step Science, we're going to have a little fun with a flashlight, and we're going to actually figure out how they work. Um, so what do you think? I want you to make a guess. How do flashlights work? I mean, yeah, we know you can turn them on and turn them off, but what makes a flashlight tick? What actually is going on inside there? That's what we're going to figure out today. So make your guess. My guess is inside my flashlight there are batteries. What do batteries do? Hmm, I'm right about that. The batteries are lighting up my light. But what do batteries actually do? Um, make another guess. <laughs> I think they make electricity. And so, what is electricity? Hmm. Well, that's a whole other subject, and there's a lot going in there. When you think there's batteries in there and a light bulb and somehow there's electricity being made, let's figure that out. Let's start to talk about electricity a little bit. What is electricity? Well, I've got a little demonstration that might help us out and might help us picture in our minds what's going on when we make electricity with batteries. Well, electricity is energy, of course, and energy does work like light up a light bulb or run your dishwasher <clears throat> or your vacuum cleaner. Um, you switch the light on, you switch the light off every time you go into a dark room. But what actually is electricity? Well, electricity um, starts when there are, it's made out of, up of atoms. And atoms are so small, you can't even see them. And atoms have a center a nucleus, and there's a lot of electrons that are kind of circling our nucleus. And, you know, they go around and around at crazy, crazy speeds, just like I'm doing this with a pie pan. Can you watch that? So there's electrons circling a nucleus. And this is a giant demonstration. See how they're going around and around? And I can get one or two of those going around. So there's electrons circling a nucleus of an atom. They're so tiny you can't even see them. So when we make electricity, those electrons, instead of going around and around the nucleus, they jump. And they jump from atom to atom, and they start to form a path. So I'm going to make a little path out of a cardboard tube, and I dropped one of my ping pong balls on the floor, of course, and they all end up flowing from atom to atom in a path or a line. So here we go, we're gonna make some electrons flow, jumping from atom to atom in a line. So that's called a current. And so we've made some electricity by getting the electrons to flow in a straight path. So that's what electricity is, and that's what the batteries do to light our flashlight. Wow, so that's, that's a lot already. <laughs> so um, what else? Well, when I take a look at my flashlight, and, and Tom, um, I know that I sent you a picture of a flash, the inside of a flashlight. Can you put that up on the screen for us? There it is. Whoa, that's really cool. So I'm looking at the picture of the inside of a flashlight now, and it seems to me that everything looks like it's connected. I see a little spring at the end. I see the light bulb there, and in the middle there's batteries, and they're all touching each other. And of course there's a switch right in the middle that turns it on and off. And I think the key word for that is everything is connected. So if you take that diagram down for a second, let's talk about how things are connected and why why the electricity has to be connected to flow. Okay, so everything's, though there's a wire touching metal and a nub inside the flashlight, and I am going to move. There we go. Um, so let's talk about why everything's connected. And I'm gonna do a little diagram here on my table with um, my glue stick, and let's say, there's a light bulb at the end of my, this is just a regular light bulb, at the end of my flashlight. And of course there's a light bulb in your room, and I'm gonna stick this down to my paper, and 
there's my light bulb and you can see it on my paper. And in this case, we're gonna use a power source of electricity and that's the battery. And I'm gonna stick that down to the other part of my paper that's going to make the electricity to light my light bulb but they're not connected so what do we do we get a marker out and we make a connection from one end of the flashlight all the way to the light bulb and all the way back again to the other end of the battery. So if you can see that, I drew my wires. And that's a circuit. So that causes the electric, remember when we did the ping pong balls down the tube? That causes the electrons to flow through the wire to the light bulb. And they've got to have some place to go to, <laughs> a path to go to, a round path back around again to the battery and that's called a circuit and it's all connected so that's what's happening inside your flashlight okay so with that diagram then let's take a look at something else that you can do if you came to the um, this video and you saw some supplies together ahead of time you might have seeing that I have a Christmas light and I have a little AA battery. So do you think I can light, make a circuit and light this Christmas light with my battery, my electric, my electric power source? We're gonna try it. So the thing is, yep, I have to connect it. I have to make that circuit. And what I did was, this is an old Christmas light and my it wasn't lighting up, my, my wires were broken. So I cut off one of the lights and there's wires connecting inside that light all the way up to there inside that bulb. And what I did was I, I stripped the green insulation off the wires. So I have some bare wires showing on each end. And what I did, and an adult might have to help you do that, is I took my needle nose pliers and I scraped it. So the bare wires showed there, so they can connect to the battery. So now, let's see if we can make a circuit. Here we go. I'm gonna touch this to the nubby end of the battery and hold it with my finger. And then it's still not connected in a circuit. So I'm going to hold the other end to the other side of the battery. And let's see if we can get it to go. I had it going this morning. You can play around with this and see what you come up with. But I bet you all goes well. There. Can you see how I got it? It's glowing. I got it. <laughs> can see. And then when I take my finger away, it goes out. And I put my finger on it, and it lights up. That's a circuit. It's all connected in a circle. So that's pretty cool. So let's actually take this whole flashlight apart now and check out from that drawing that we saw what's going on inside there. So this is my old flashlight from when I was a Girl Scout. So it's kind of old. Sometimes LED flashlights don't work like this anymore. But there is a wire at the base that touches the battery and helps make that connection. Now I'm going to dump the batteries out. There we go. And batteries are kind of cool. They've got one flat side and one nubby side. So it's kind of almost like a magnet. There's a north pole and a south pole, or a male end and a male end and a female end. And they're all inside. There's my other battery. Two batteries inside. Now these happen to be C batteries, but lots of batteries use AAA or AA. And then if I look down inside my flashlight, I don't know if you can see this. 
Probably not, but if you have a flashlight, you can look down inside the handle of the flashlight and you can see a little metal nub that touches the bottom of the light bulb. <laughs> That's inside your flashlight. And then if you turn around, you can actually, oh, yeah, mine does unscrew. You can unscrew your flashlight there and actually see it. There it is. That's going to touch. Woo! <laughs> That's going to touch the battery top just like that and light it up. So I'm wondering, I'm just kind of playing around here. I'm wondering, no, that's not going to work because it's not a circuit when I hold it together like that. But so there's the inside. Now I'm going to screw this back together. And let's talk about the switch. What does the switch on a flashlight do? You know, I'm just moving it forward and back with my finger up and down and up and down. It's just like the switch on your wall. When you flip it up, the light comes on. When you flip it down, the light goes off. Well, what you're doing is you're breaking the connection with a switch. You're breaking the circuit. So I am going to get out my, my little, whoops, my light again, my Christmas light. And so if this was a switch, There, it's lit, and the switch would be like breaking the circuit. And again, sticking it there, woo, <laughs> it's, I'm not holding it tight. There we go, it's lit. And then the switch, I'm breaking the circuit. That's what a switch does. So actually, flashlights are the coolest things ever. <laughs> so I'm gonna put my flashlight back together again. But I have to make sure, you know, what happens if I put it in the wrong way? If I, instead of putting the nub end of my batteries in, what if I put the flat end in first, like I just did? What do you think? You think it'll light? I don't know. Okay, there's my little wire that connects everything. Screwing it on, let's try. What do you think is gonna happen? Will it light? No, <laughs> I put it in the wrong way. Electricity is really closely related to magnetism. So you've got a North Pole and a South Pole. And if you've ever played with magnets, you, you know that there's a difference between one end of a magnet and the other. Same with batteries, there's a difference. So I'm gonna put that nubby end in first this time. Ta-da! And the other nubby end, nubby end to flat end, stick it in there. Oh, what if I just did one? Do you think that would work? What if I just did one nubby end in first and I put the two flat ends together? Would that work? I'm going to say no. <laughs> nope, not happening. Okay, so if you have a flashlight and it doesn't work, check your batteries. <laughs> Okay, so now nubby end in to flat end, and I put them in the order that I think is gonna work. Screw it up the end so that spring touches and everything inside is connected in a circuit. Let's see what we got. Yeah! <laughs> flashlight, it works. So that's what's going on inside. And flashlights are a great tool to use because you can see in the dark, you can look in different places, you can shine things all over. I love to play with flashlights. So that's what's going on inside there. So um, one thing I wanted to do is a little bit more about circuits and magnetism. So we're going to build an electromagnet together. And on my tray, I have a battery. I'm not sure which one of these batteries is stronger. So we're going to test it out. I have a nail. I have some paper clips because we're going to actually pick things up because it's going to be, this nail is going to be a magnet. So let's, let's do a test here. Here's my nail, my regular old big, na biggest nail I could find. I'm going to try to pick it up, the paper clips with my nail, and it doesn't work. But we're going to turn this nail into a magnet. And this is what I did. I took some wire, and if you have some just insulated wire, again, you're going to take 
or have an adult take and make the ends bare so that the bare wire is showing on the end. And all of this right here is just insulation. And you take a pliers and just scrape off the insulation. It takes a little work, but you can do it pretty easily. Or you can have an adult help you do it. You just scrape off the insulation. Okay, so now I've got a wire that we're going to use today, and when we're done, it's going to look like this. Wire coiled around a nail. So it, we're actually going to make a circuit that's going to make an electromagnet. So I'm going to leave a little tail. See my tail? And then I'm going to start wrapping this nail around and around and around. Can you see my loops? Now I'm going to squish those loops together because I want a lot of them. The electrons are gonna flow through this wire when we connect it up to a battery. And that's gonna create a little bit of magnetism. And we'll see if I can pick up my paper clips. So I'm wrapping and wrapping and squishing and squishing with what I've got. A little bit more. Wrapping and wrapping and squishing and squishing. Whoa, here we go. Do, 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 do. Round and around. You think that's enough? I hope so. Well, we're going to do a couple more just for, just cause. <laughs> and then we're going to connect it to our power source, our energy source, our batteries. We're going to see if we can turn this nail into an electromagnet. An electromagnet means it's just a magnet that's created by electricity. So here we go. We're going to try this battery first because I think this is my best one. And I'm going to touch the end of the bare wire to the nubby side of my battery. And then I'm going to touch the other end to the flat side. Now, let's see. See, so there's my circuit around and around and around. Hopefully, the electrons are flowing through this wire, through the wire, through the battery, and back. The circuit. Okay, so let's check it out. Did we get this? Oh, check it out. I can pick up a paper clip. So that means we've created an electric current that's made this whole nail into a magnet. Ta-da, so you can try that at home. I'm gonna do it again. And that is the end of our first step science today. It's all about lighting things up and creating circuits and figuring out how flashlights work. Hope you had a good time today. Join us again next time. <laughs> Bye. Well, thanks for everybody for joining us today. We appreciate you being here. And if you're catching this video later, um, we hope that you will join us live when we do this program again. We do First Step Science every Friday at 11 a.m. So we're using and creating scientific tools and exploring our world. If you create a, a cool circuit, you can show us a diagram of what you made or take a picture and send it to us. We'd love to see that. We're on social media, so we'd love to see anything that you are creating. We also hope to see you for our other programs. We're doing Get Crafty, so we're crafting and getting messy and creating cool stuff every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. That's another live interactive program. And on Thursdays, we're telling stories, whether they're stories in the sky or, or rhyming songs. Um, every Thursday at 11 a.m., we're doing that live, and there's usually a hands-on craft that goes with that. So these are all at 11 o'clock. They're all live, and they're all hands-on and interactive. Join us for any of those by going to greatlakeskids.org, clicking on the offerings, and you can see all of our programs right there. We'd also like to encourage you to donate to the Children's Museum. If you're able to give during this time, we appreciate any donations that uh, you're able to give. If you wanna find more information about donating, you just go to that same website, greatlakeskids.org slash donate, and there's information on how to donate, where your money goes, and a link to do so right there. So again, we hope to see you soon, and thanks for joining us. And until next time, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye.